Hello everybody, it's Techno here. Today I'm going to show you the location of all eight blue stakes and the blue shrine in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. The order of this video is for the fastest route, but these stakes are kind of all over the place. We're going to start off first by going to the one at the very north. There's this little beach that's kind of overlooking the, the water over there. It's kind of secluded, honestly. Oh, over here, it's just on the beach level almost. It's really low level. You should be able to find one of the stakes there. Now, the second one we're going to get is probably my favorite stake location out of all of them. It's on this top of this mountain that's overlooking the Dragon Lake. The, the dragon mountains and everything. It's a really pretty spot. Uh, the third one is going to be over here in the... Uh, just just overlooking the tag tree thicket. Just overlooking it. And you can see uh, there's this like ledge over here that's overlooking that. You can grab it. It's right under a big tree over there. Number four is going to be on this very, very small grassy ledge. Green grass ledge just south of the Glaciato Mountain. Everything else is snow around here except for this little ledge. So... Go ahead and grab that. Our number five is going to be the one uh, just north of Le the Lavincia Gym. You can actually overlook Lavincia like that. Really pretty. It's very high up and under a very large tree just north of Lavincia City. Number six is going to be at the far uh, right side of the map. Uh, you can see where I'm marking it. It's technically, I think it's technically in the uh, Team Star base. You'll see this patch of ruins over here. That's where that one's going to be. Now, number seven is going to be not far away at all from the North Province Area 2 Pokemon Center. In fact, you could just fly right there and climb up the mountain. It's very fast to get up there. Um, it's, again, under a very large tree, so just keep an eye out. Look for the large tree. You can see the watchtower in the background to help you orient yourself, but that one is very easy to get to. And then the final one, number eight, is up on the top of this mountain. You can see this water, and overlooking the bamboo area, you can see the giant waterfall. That's what you want to look for. Number eight is up here, almost at the tip top of the mountain. There's a little bit of stuff above us, but that's it. Once you grab the eighth one, though, you should hear the cry of the Pokemon and a notification telling you that the sound came from the shrine. Now, it's going to orient you towards the shrine, but we're actually right next to it. You could just hop on your Pokemon, jump down one ledge where the waterfall is starting, and then go in this cave that the waterfall, that the water's coming from somehow. <laughs> um... And then uh, you can find the shrine entrance over here. Before you do anything, I mean literally before you do anything, go ahead and please save your game because you don't want to mess up. Um, if you KO the Pokemon, I don't know how you trigger to come back. It will come back, but I don't know how. So go ahead and interact with the shrine by pushing A and the shrine will come open to reveal one of the ruined quartet Pokemon to you. So everybody, that's how you find the eight blue stakes and the blue shrine in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. If you're interested in seeing more Free of Fluff video guides like this one for the other steak colors, go ahead and click the videos on screen now. I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, Techno's out.